We gather this morning as part of our Lenten celebration to pray the Stations of the Cross. The Stations tell the Easter story. They also tell, they also tell the story of love, the, the love of God, the, that he has sent us his only son, the, and the love of Jesus that he was willing to give up his life, life for us. Let us listen and pray this story together. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, who died to save me, I am here to remember your great love for me. I am sorry for the times I have not returned your love. May these stations of the cross open my heart more and more to your gifts of love. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned. The soldiers brought Jesus to the Roman governor to be judged. The people wanted Jesus to be punished, and even though the governor knew he was innocent, he gave in to the crowd. Jesus was condemned to death on the cross. Do you remember the last time your parents punished you? You probably felt hurt and angry, but deep down inside you knew it was your own good. You took your punishment because you know that your parents love you just like God loves his son. Lord Jesus, help me to always accept what God wants me to do. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Soldiers brought the cross to Jesus and put it on his shoulders. He knew he was not guilty of any crime, but he accepted the heavy cross and carried it to show us how much he loves us. Sometimes things do not go as you want them to go, but you can't run away and take the easy way out. To really get anything out of life, you have to work at it every day. Jesus gave us his example, even though it was hard and painful. He accepted all our sins and took, took up the cross. Lord Jesus, give me strength to do the things I don't like to do. <coughs> Third station, Jesus falls the first time. Carrying the cross was not easy. It was rough and heavy. Jesus was, Jesus was tired and hurt from the beatings the soldiers gave him, and he fell to the ground under the weight of the cross. Remember the last time you received a bad mark on a test? Even though you tried very hard, you still got a poor mark. When you were disappointed, you may have thought of just giving up. Jesus didn't give up. Even though it hurt when he fell to the ground, he got up and went on. Lord Jesus, help us to keep trying to do our best for you. Fourth station. Jesus meets his mother Mary. As Jesus looked around him, he saw and heard people cursing and laughing at him. He also saw his mother Mary, who could not get close enough to speak to him, but he knew she was there and that he was happy she was near to give him strength. When was the last time you ever did something for your mother? Have you ever thought on how much she has done for you? She has always been by your side when you needed her, and you have always been in her heart. Jesus didn't forget his mother Mary. When Jesus needed her, even though her sadness was great, Mary was there. Lord Jesus, help us to be grateful for those who love us. Fifth station, Simon helped to carry Jesus' cross. As Jesus carried the cross up the hill, the soldiers saw that he was very tired and weak. They did not want him to die on the road, so they pulled Simon out of the crowd and told him to help. To help a man on his way to be executed was difficult. Simon did what was needed. Have you helped anyone lately? When you are playing games and someone falls down, you can help them up, or perhaps when you go to the store with your mother, you can show your love by carrying her packages. Can you refuse to do little things when you think of how Simon helped carry the cross? Lord Jesus, make us ready and willing to help our neighbor. The sixth 
Dedication. Veronica wiped the face of Jesus. All during his life, Jesus showed how he loved other people. He gave them food if they were hungry, sight if they were blind, or healed them every day to provide a woman any piece of his mantle and came out of the crowd to wipe the face and make them feel better. Making someone feel better is a good deed. A card or a visit to a sick friend is a small but kind act, especially if he took a little trouble to do it. Lord Jesus, help us to, to be thoughtful in all that we do in your name. Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus found it very hard to get up after he fell a second time. The crowds of people pushed and pulled at him to make him get up and keep going. Jesus stood up and began to walk again. Have you ever been the only person to think something was right? Being left alone to fight for your point of view is difficult. Perhaps you were laughed at and made fun of by many people. But like Jesus, you stood up for what was right. Lord Jesus, give me the strength to please you even when my friends refuse to do what is right. Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women and children. The sight of Jesus with his torn clothes and bloody face made the women and children turn away and cry. Jesus did not want them to feel sorry for him, so he told them to pray for themselves and their children who would have to suffer. Have you ever tried to comfort a sister or brother after you both were hurt or did not get something? Even though you may have been hurt, you tried to make your sister or brother feel better. This is what Jesus did. Even though he was hurt and sad, he had enough strength and feeling to stop and speak kindly to the women and children. Lord Jesus, help me to pay attention to the needs of others. Ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. As Jesus began to walk up a steep hill, he fell a third time. He was so tired he could not get up again. He was very embarrassed as people laughed at him, trying to get up again. No one is perfect. It is human to make mistakes, but we must learn to get up and do better from our falls. Even Jesus Christ, King of Kings, fell, but he always got up again and went on. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, even when I make mistakes, give me the strength to try again and again. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garment. At last, Jesus came to the top of the hill. The soldiers took the cross from him and tore his clothes off his body. He stood there ready to die on the cross. Has a crowd of people ever made fun of you? Maybe they did not even know that they were hurting you by making you feel, feel bad in front of everybody. This is what happened to Jesus, yet he did not complain. Lord Jesus, help me not to be afraid of what others think or say about me. Help me to be strong when others are weak. The 11th station, Jesus is crucified. Jesus was held on the cross with large nails in his hands and feet. The soldiers left him hanging there in the hot sun for three hours so that he would die. Having to stay behind when someone is going fishing or to a circus is not easy. It can make us feel sad and even want to cry. But we suffer these bravely like Christ did when the soldiers drove nails into his hands and feet. Lord Jesus, help us to put up with the hard things in our world. Twelfth 
Well, Stacy, Jesus dies on the cross. As he hung on the cross, Jesus forgave the soldiers and prayed for his mother and friends. He told them he did everything in, everything his father wanted, wanted him to do for the world. He bowed his head and died. Sometimes people go out of their way for the good of others. Parents sacrifice because they want to give their children every good thing in life. Jesus wanted all of us to have the goodness of living with God, so he died on the cross for us. Lord Jesus, make us willing to work and share for you and for other people. Thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. After Jesus died, his friend Joseph took the body from the cross. Joseph was very sad as he wiped away the blood and cleaned the cuts that covered the body of Jesus. He then prepared the body for burial. It is a very kind and loving thing to care for someone else. When we care for a friend, it is easy, but we must learn to give as much care to one who doesn't like us as we would give to a friend. Then we are showing our real love for them. Lord Jesus, teach us how to care for everyone. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Joseph took the body of Jesus and laid him in a tomb cut out of rock. He rolled a large stone in front of the tomb and then sadly went home. Jesus was buried. When is the last time you shared with someone? Sharing what you don't want or sharing unwillingly is not friendly or right. But when you willingly share something dear to you, you are more rewarded by having more left of yourself. Joseph shared something special to Jesus. Because he loved him so much, he gave him his own tomb. Lord Jesus, help us learn to share with other boys and girls. Remember the last time you were bursting with joy? You wanted to tell everyone about your happiness. This is how Jesus wants us to feel every day, when we remember that he is risen and with us again. Lord Jesus, we rejoice with you and pray for our own day of glory. Please join in singing, Were You There? The words can be found in your heart.